Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Thursday, January the 10th. We are in Champaign, Illinois. Temperature. I think everybody wants to know what the temperature is like. Let's see. It is currently 28 degrees here locally and the time is 1.37. We have a delivery here in Sam's Club. One out of five deliveries. We're hauling milk. It's a reefer load. Hauling milk. Temperature 32 degrees in the reefer. I got loaded up last night. And then my goal was to be here much earlier than now. I was supposed to get up at 4 this morning and then get going and be here by 12. So if, you know, they get me empty that earlier, I can get going to my other jobs. But I woke up and instead of getting up like normal people do and get going and everything, I was like, hey, I'm going to shut my alarms off or whatever I did and snooze a little bit like five minutes. And guess what? Well, that snooze, five minutes, turned into like three, four hours. The next thing I know is I woke up, I see it's daytime outside, daylight, and I'm rushing. My phone died, battery drained because I unplugged it. It was not a good, good morning start. But anyways, I mean, I still managed to make it. It's going to be really tight with my windows, uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll still be able to make it basically we picked that up yesterday i mean it took them like man like seven eight hours to load me i didn't there's it's like a no appointment pickup they're 24 hour shipper so there's a lot of trucks there and everybody was just kind of like waiting and aggravated but once they got me they loaded me pretty quick uh but yeah we have five drops i believe all first four drops are somewhere in illinois like 50 miles from each other and then our last drop, we're gonna end tomorrow in St. Louis around 9 a.m. in Chesterfield, Missouri. And they're all for the same place, hauling some milk. Uh, but that's as far as that goes. Um, basically, plan for now is I might actually go to Sam's Club and get a membership, since I do have Costco membership, but not Sam's Club. And there's always certain things that Costco doesn't carry, but Sam's does, since I have it like right by my house. We don't have a membership, so we always like go and borrow it from a mom's sister or whatever the case may be. But so I might just get that. I mean, it's like 45 bucks, and I might get some food as well since I'm here and I'll be spending time and use the restroom or whatever. But yeah, that's kind of the situation with that. Uh, just gonna be laying here, uh, waiting for time to pass by, maybe take a nap because I mean, I won't really be able to sleep. It's, it's past noon, it's daytime, but we'll see get some food come back in here lay down and then maybe you know play games try to kill some time talk to my girlfriend uh, the usual and then tomorrow I'll get home and then I'm sure I'll be back on the road shortly I don't, uh, I don't usually spend a lot of time home and you know I always think about like oh man those guys that are on the road for like two three weeks and then home for a week like you think about it they spend more time at home than i do i come home and i'm not saying every week i definitely have weeks where uh, i'm on home much more but lately you know it's been like you know i come home it's like okay barely that break that i have to take and then it's like okay come back on the road and but i, I guess it's just you know it's it's part of the life where it will suck right now but then it'll pay off later and that's what kind of keeps you going like that that motivation that you will get better and you will have more time and etc etc but those are my two cents for now and yeah another quick tip i wanted to share with you guys that i kind of thought about earlier i started reading this book uh rich dad poor dad i think that's called father or rich dad poor dad i'm sure you're familiar with it basically it's a pretty good book uh and there's obviously things that you're not going to agree with but overall i think the idea of the book is pretty good and it makes you kind of think and what I thought about is uh, in life in general if you think about the things whether it's your job your your, your uh, relationships with your significant others or, or your family members or your your overall well-being whatever it is may be we always tend to 
complain and point fingers saying, oh, well, it's my boss's fault, I'm not making more, or, well, it's my boss's fault that I can't go on a vacation. Whatever the case may be, you can apply this to all aspects of life. What you need to do is, instead of pointing, say, it's me. It's my fault, it's nobody else's. Because at the end of the day, it is your fault. You're the one that's dealing with the bad pay. You're the one that's dealing with these horrible hours and no vacation. You're the one that's taking it, it's not them. And when you come into the conclusion of understanding that you're much faster and very more likely to change what you do than others, that's your solution. There's nothing else that uh, you know you even need to do. And then your, your thought process is just like different from there. You're like, oh man, it's my fault. So what can I do to make this differently? Instead of just going on, on and on, complaining and adding more complaints. But yeah, that was like a quick uh, two cents, I guess, tip of the day, whatever you want to call it. Something that's been on my mind. But like when I woke up this morning, I can't blame the alarm. It's my fault. It is me and I took ownership of it or whether you hit something or whatever the case may be. But yeah, go to Sam's, get my membership, get some food, come back in here and we'll probably just talk to you guys later once I do start unloading my first drop. Probably strap this camera on my head and show you some backing shots. Talk to you guys later. Hello everybody, welcome back. Basically it's like 9 p.m. right now. I uh, walked to this dock earlier, but it says the receiving hours are like nine to one. So I'm gonna go check in and see if they'll take me. And uh, catch you guys in the truck. Hello everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Jokes aside, shout out to Johnny, JVD, you already know who he is. Let's go and park at this dock. We got a dock uh, like by the wall, so it'll probably be a little bit tight of a squeeze. Doors are on, we are rolling, so we'll see how this dock goes. We'll see. It's like nine. 20 right now here local time and that's a tight turn but we're good back to get away from the wall.
this side because uh, we're popping this one open and leave the other one. There's our block. And there's a seal. And then you have a whole lot of milk in there. Close this. Now let's get back to dock. Alright. Quite a bit of room by the wall, so we'll just throw it towards the wall. to dock one thing I didn't show is whenever I was docking there are these lifts right here which made it harder to park but we managed to do it it's a little tight of a spot on to the next one all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back so that was uh that was basically one out of the five drops that we have for tonight basically whatever you've seen there is gonna get essentially replicated five times and we'll do five of those deliveries i try to do like some backing shots for you guys you know some some people they're like wondering what that looks like or whatever the case may be i'll try to make more uh action videos and then uh I'm trying to figure out like how I could mount a microphone by the exhaust and do some driving shots and things like that. But yeah, I think with that being said, I'll probably just end this vlog for today. There wasn't much going on, but I mean, it's, just, it's a longer vlog than some of my videos usually are. So I think, you know, I hope you guys like it, find it, you know, helpful or entertaining at least. And then I'll be back on the road probably Saturday or Sunday. I'm going home tomorrow is Friday and uh, we'll do rest of these deliveries and then basically we'll uh, catch you guys later whenever I am back on the route road and uh, thanks for watching hit the subscribe button if you already haven't the uh, comment like whatever it is that you want to do and uh, talk to you